Check it out. It's not gonna hurt you, man. Two wild yeah. Stantler. <laughs> Slept for three hours. It's a little after seven right now, and first things first, I need to pack. It's eight o'clock. I gotta run an errand, drop that phone off at UPS to return it, and then I'm on my way to my cousin's house. He said he wanted to meet in the morning. I, I don't really know what time that means. You know, you never really know how early someone considers morning. He's not even awake yet, so we'll see. Got to my cousin's house and he's not gonna like this. I'm all packed up, ready to go, and it screws my day up. We got a ticket. I got some bad news for you. That went yesterday? Oh. <laughs> my ticket. That's your ticket. It's a Pokemon. We gotta go with the red, I guess. Oh, there's a guy right there. Bam, what's up, dude? Just hold and click. Yeah. There you go. Damn, it's harder to catch these things than you think. Now what I do with it? Where's my little Charmander at? I call that a bug. I call that a bug. This is not optimum gameplay right here. They want me to really walk. It's time to walk. I have a hoverboard. Oh, dude, I got Triceratops too. Look at that. Bam. I like Triceratops. Okay, the plan was originally to ride with Dante, but he booked an audition for today, so he's going up later, and now I'm riding with his brothers, my other cousins, Dion and Darian. Let's go. Ooh, we just stopped for gas, and they have a rodent problem at this gas station. I have a bit of a lag problem. to get hit by a car. Stay alert. Boom. One down. Let's see if I can clean up the rest of these rats. We just stopped for food in uh, Visalia, California, and I ordered my burrito, opened up the app, check what's going on around here, and there's a freaking Pidgeot right here outside the restaurant. So hopefully my network connection is strong enough to actually be able to encounter this Pokemon right now. Uh oh. Now I'm having trouble. Not looking good right now. I might have to let this one go. Obviously having a lot of trouble right now. I'm gonna close the app, reopen it, and see what happens. All right, I'm back in. Pidgeot's gone. That was kind of a bummer. I feel like Ash when he saw Ho-Oh in like the first episode. I might never see a Pidgeot again. Oh well, at least I got a burrito. Um, bad news is, I have no phone service up here. The good news is, it's beautiful. 
and I guess I really haven't explained what's going on yet. Um, this is a family reunion that my mom's side of the family does every year. So we have this huge group campground. There's probably 60 of us going to be up here for the weekend. It's 5 o'clock. i got to set up my tent, maybe go on a hike or something, see if I can find some service. But if not, I'm just going to enjoy being out here. Okay, this is my little brother Chance. Hi. He's nine. Yeah. And he watches a lot of YouTube. Yeah. So he's kind of been my go-to guy for trying to figure out how to make this channel pop for you guys. Yeah. I get all my advice from him. Yeah. Hi. I'm totally unprepared. I forgot a lot of very important things. He forgot a tarp, sleepy mat, and most importantly, a pillow. He's right, I forgot a pillow. I also forgot my lantern. Yes. I'm very unprepared and, um, you know, I'm supposed to be helping you guys on this channel with uh, tips for going out and catching Pokemon. So tip number one, Always if you're going camping, make a checklist. Follow your checklist. I failed to do that this time. I forgot one other important thing, <laughs> the charger for this camera. Luckily it's just a standard micro USB. I'm sure someone here has an Android charger. Update, I forgot something else. He forgot his toothbrush, the most important thing. There's a gas station a little ways down the highway. So we're gonna get him a new toothbrush, if there is one. We're gonna walk down there. Hopefully I can get a toothbrush, maybe a, a flashlight also. And we'll see how it goes. I thought this gas station was way farther. Here's the entrance to our campground. There's the gas station. It's a full-on resort. So, maybe there's Wi-Fi here. That's exactly what I need. So the good news is there is Wi-Fi in the lodge back here. They ask you to use uh, limit your use to 10 minutes. I think they'll let me slide 15 if I uh, put on an incense and just hang out outside. So we'll probably try to come back down here in a little bit and do that so you guys can see what kind of Pokemon are out here in the uh, Sequoia National Forest. Yo. What happened? You playing Pokemon Go? Yeah, huh? You playing Pokemon Go? not playing Pokemon Go. Of course I am. Heard you you playing Pokemon Go? Yeah. <laughs> We're all playing Pokemon Go. I can't. We're all playing it. Where's your Pokemon Go? For some reason on my Aces phone, the Google Play is not, oh, doesn't have it yet. Oh, <laughs> Intel processor? Yeah. That's why. They don't like those Intel processors. Sticks. Good thing about camping with 60 people is if you forget something, chances are someone has an extra. I got a cable to charge the camera. I got a blanket under my sleeping bag, so that's at least a little padding. Got the toothbrush, got the light. And got the pillow. That's right. Whose pillow is it? Mine! Thank you, Chance. You're welcome. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. Not even a... Same here. Nothing. I don't even, like I... We're here at the lodge. There's a little bit of light left, so I came down and figured I'd check it out. Uh, I'm on the Wi-Fi, and there's nothing around. There's no visible Pokestops or gyms on the map. There's no Pokemon nearby. And the reason for this is because Pokemon spawns are based on cellular data activity. So, the more people are in an area using their phones, the more Pokemon will spawn there. Um, it makes sense for the game, you know, if there's a lot of people around, there's a lot of opportunities for Pokemon. It's unfortunate for players in rural areas where there's not a lot of activity, you might not see as many Pokemon, and obviously, here where I have no cell service at all, there are no Pokemon. So, what I'm gonna do is use an incense, I'll show you guys how that works, and hopefully we can get some Pokemon to show up. Go into items, hit incense, you can buy these in the shop, and you also get them for leveling up. I'm not sure what level you get them as a reward, but once in a while you will get some. So there you go, that pink dust, that's the incense at work. Now we wait. We got 30 minutes. Um, oh, here it is. What is it? It's Sandshrew. You guys, Sandshrew was my first favorite Pokemon. When first gen first came out, this is my favorite Pokemon. This is huge for me right now. This is gold. This is like something I've always wanted in real life. An actual Sandshrew. So I don't know if I show you, showed you guys this trick, but you can turn off the AR, turn around, and turn it back on if you want to place the Pokemon somewhere else. Um, I guess it's too dark for my camera right now, so I'm just going to turn the AR off, but this is exciting. My first Sandshrew. First try. This is like a lifelong dream come true first right now. First try, everyone. 
I, I caught a sand shrew in real life. And it's right here. In this... Facility. Slightly dark forest. I'm gonna give him a nickname. My first... You know, I haven't given any of my Pokemon nicknames, but... I feel like this deserves one. And since we are in the Sequoia National Forest, I'm gonna name... My sand shrew, Sequoia. Oh, yeah. Seems fitting. It'll always remind me of where I caught him. Even though I can just look on the map. I guess that doesn't tell me much. Mm. I caught him in between the light green and the dark green. Mm -hmm. But there it is. Sand shrew. I got Geo, dude. Nice. <laughs> he made a tail up. Did you get another one? No. <laughs> oh, you know what? I could walk in circles right now. Yeah. Because uh, at least I'll get some distance on my eggs if I do that. So instead of just sitting here, I'm going to walk in circles on this patio and get some distance on my egg that's hatching so that I'm not just wasting time. Also, I gotta get my steps up. I'm only at, uh, oh, I'm at 8,600 8, steps for today. <laughs> so, let's keep going. How's that working for you? Uh, he's stepping. I don't know if I'm getting Oh, any I got something. I got, it's a Magikarp. Oh. Why? It's not even on the forest. <laughs> it's not even in, Nick, there isn't even any water here for okay, miles. Okay, there's a Magikarp just flopping around on the ground. Nick, we must capture this very moment. Okay, here we go, Magikarp. Nick. This is probably going to be the last capture that I'm going to be able to show you guys today because it's pretty Magikarp dark by now. Magikarp is amazing. Magikarp, 35 CP. Let's yeah. see if I can hit a great throw on this one. It's weak. Great. I've had a lot of practice, guys. Just keep practicing at it. You see the size of that circle when I hit it? That's what you want to aim for to get a great throw. So there it is. I got a Magikarp. It's the last one I'm going to be able to share with you guys because it's just too dark now. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Yeah. Good boy! So this is the gym here, Furman Park. I actually controlled this gym during the beta. There is a Pidgeotto here, and this guy's level 11 already, which is crazy. It seems to me like the experience required to level up is a lot lower in this official release than it was in the beta.